The Suzuki Ignis is back from the dead after a decade-long absence, the latest in the brand's growing line of reborn 90s nameplates including the Vitara and Bellino. Moreover, it's affixed to one of the most intrinsically likable cars you can buy. Like the old version, which in retrospect was ahead of its time and was more or less the same size, the 2017 Ignis is a tiny urban runabout with the stance and space of a small crossover. Indeed, Suzuki wants you to consider it the market's first true light SUV. Notwithstanding the veracity of this claim, which we'll explore later, what you can't deny is the Ignis edgy retro design, Google SS20 Suzuki Servo, that makes the brand's much cheaper Solerio look a right snooze fest. The reborn Ignis has already attracted its share of admirers around the office, but is there any substance behind this dial? Launched this week in Australia, the revived Ignis has a starting price of $15,990 for the Bass GL manual, or $16,990 drive away, a few grand more than a Kia Pacento but with much more equipment and space, and ballpark with a larger entry-level Honda Jazz or Mazda 2 fitted with less gear. We mentioned the Pacento, and the Holden Spark for that matter, because the Ignis is about the same size, 3.7 meters long, 1.7 meters wide, 1.6 meters high atop a wheelbase a shade longer than 2.4 meters. But the trump card is the 180 millimeters ground clearance, 25 millimeters higher than a Mazda CX-3s, and its high hip point and driving position that makes it a pseudo-crossover.